Tyler Hadley. No, I've never been a bloke. Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Phoenix Nights. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Really enjoyed the last episode, man. I thought it was really funny. And I appreciate you guys uh, teach me three new things. I learned what nuts means. It's like a sexual predator. I don't want to say the P word because this video has to go on YouTube and it causes problems. I know who the SAS are. And uh, Bluey or Blue Movie. I know that's a porn movie now. Three things I learned, man. I don't see myself using any of them in a day-to-day -day life, you know? <laughs> like nuts or any of that stuff man but it's cool to know because it carries over because i was we we're watching was a lock stock and two smoking barrels i believe yeah i'm pretty sure we we're watching lock stock two smoking barrels and somebody used nuts in that and i knew what it meant so it's cool the stuff carry carries over so yeah definitely appreciate that man and you guys sent me some clips on the sas i'm definitely gonna check those out i need to watch those for sure and somebody sent me an animated like series that kind of explained the entire event and how the sas stop like a uh, this terrorist like hostage situation. So I wanna check that out as well. So definitely appreciate that. So let's just go ahead and jump into this folks. We'll talk about more in the end. What? Hello. Could I speak to Mr. Potter, please? Speaking. Mr. Potter from the Phoenix Club. Yeah, who's this? Ah, oh, three in the pissy morning. Mm. It's, it's mixing Potter. Who? <laughs> Gross. In coroner's office. Oof. I'm afraid your club has burnt down. What? Oh, oh so God, no. Oh, no, not again. I'm afraid we found a body, Mr. Potter. A body? Oh, God, no. <laughs> well, all we need to know, Mr. Potter, did he have false teeth? <laughs> did he what? False teeth? What pissing hell should I know if he had false teeth? Who is this? <laughs> So stupid. I know who you are. Who are you? Oh. He's a jack shit better to do. Sick animals! <laughs> laughing at death! Half past three in the bloody morning! Who is this? Oh! Mr. Potter? Who is this? Uh, this is Sergeant Patterson. I'm ringing regarding a break in at your. Oh, breaking them, is it? Eh? Who's broken? Bloody fire brigade? Burn down a minute ago, you sick bastards! Beg your pardon. Do you? Well, cop for this. <laughs> Good night. Oh, shit. Thanks somebody actually broke coming down, there. Sergeant Patterson. Yeah. I, uh, I appreciate it. Not at all, Mr. Potter. Like I said, I can't understand anyone stealing beer crates. Yeah. But Marion, drink for this lady. What do you want, love? I'll just have a Coke. A thanks. Coke? Yeah. Is that all? A Coke? You want something else? Um, I have Tia Maria. Tia Maria. Yeah, double, please. Jeez. Double. <laughs> Jesus. Go on, Brian. Yeah. Okay, we're going to slow things right down now as we enter the erection section. That's right, if you've met somebody tonight, get them on the dance floor. If you haven't, what are you still here for, you losers? <laughs> we could go out sometime if you wanted. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. If, I mean... Oh, yeah. I'd like that. Well, we can, we can do that if you want. Moves, I'd like that right? very much. Great. Lovely. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love pieces of the whole sentences. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> That's real like, that's real as we said, the deep wheels. Thank you. <laughs> Christ, my eyes are burning. It's not my fault. I've not been the same since that cowboy punched me. It's murder. Are you regular, Brian? Like a kid at a funeral. Set your watch by my ass. Mm. <clears throat> Big night tonight? Yeah, yeah. Book it bingo. Should be good. You know what I'm talking about, me and Beverly. Oh? I'm taking her back to Shed's Potter. We're going to have a meal. Meal? I didn't know you could cook. Oh, a lot you didn't know about me. Thanks again for this present. You shouldn't have, you know, it must have cost a fortune. Well, they were my mother's then. Well, so, you know, they're no use to me. And uh, she would have wanted you to have them. Here we are, look at this. Look at these rockets. 
Down well back. Blow your head off then. <laughs> I want to make that move. I'm put this song on unless you want some booty. Oh. Oh no. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? Knock it off. Jenny's take this. It's Jenny's. Knock it off. <laughs> It's wonderful. Shit. Is it orthopedic? Is it orthopedic, this, love? It is, and can you take your feet off, please? So, water, baby. That's right. You're splashing out, aren't you? Mm. Splashing out. You get it? She begrudged me a bit of happiness, Jerry. No, it's just. Well, it was only a kiss. Oh, it was more than a kiss, it was a connection. Listen, Beverly, um, I'm not very good with words. I was, I was wondering if... <laughs> <laughs> Won't be long now. the ass beat. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, no. Things I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> Jesus. Bye, Mom. <laughs> yeah? Feel it? Yeah. It's water, that. That's weird. I've never been on a water bed before. No, oh, I think I found my sea legs. Oh, steady. Listen. Me and you, that. Brian, please. I'm not the person that you think I am. You're not a bloke, are you? <laughs> you didn't use me. No. Like right. Haley. <laughs> no, I've never been a bloke. Oh, shit. God for that. I work for the DSS, Brian. They sent me to investigate you for fraudulent disability claims. What? Just, just DM me out, will you? I know, I know what you're thinking, right? But it, it, it's not like that. I never expected any of this. I never expected any of this to happen. Never. You know, I've, I've never felt like this about anybody. That's why I wanted to tell you. You know, I wanted to tell you the truth, because I, I can't keep lying to you anymore. From the big all this time. Turn away! Look over there. I don't want to look at you. Turn yeah. away. Brian. Go on. Don't forget Brian, about that and get you some job. booty. You know, I, I've got no choice. You know where the front door is. You understand if I don't see you out. Cold thing. I'll take mm -hmm. off that phone out of order. Knackered. Oh. Still, must have been a shock. Must be painful. That like watching you compare. Uh, Jenny. She's phoned again. Hmm. Twice now. She'll stop. There you go. Never even christened it. Worry about this place now. Put me energies into here. Get this year's talent trek. Back in the fast lane. That's what's important. Oh no! What? I found you missing beer crates. Well, they've nicked your organ. Bastard. Shit. Cold blooded. <laughs> it's gross. Next! <laughs> Alright, man, that was a good episode, dude. Somebody messaged me and told me that don't judge the show based off this episode. This episode isn't that good, so don't judge it because it is going to continue to get better. After this one, this is just kind of like a hump. I like this one. I didn't think it was bad. Uh, I don't remember anybody commenting that this was bad. It's just a message I received. These people get worried that I'm going to stop watching the show or something if one bad episode comes up. I wouldn't do that. Him and that girl, man, I don't know what I would actually do in that situation if I was like, you know, paraplegic and somebody came to investigate me and like, you know, we're in bed together, whatever, and then she was honest, but I, I want to think that I would be like, you know what? It takes a whole lot of courage to like be honest with somebody but also get his side like you don't want to start a relationship off with a lie and that's what she did well she technically didn't lie she just kept the information from him so i don't know but i think in that situation i would have got me some booty you know what i mean this dude play nothing but booty tracks you don't play those songs unless you want to get some i guess man I guess it really hurt him or what have you but i don't know man I, I think in that situation i would have been like yeah you know what it took a whole lot of courage to admit to that and i appreciate it blah 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 and i would have went in kid especially like you find a girl who likes corny shit like that, that corny ass songs what do you say you're the wind believe beneath my wheels or whatever singing that cor that corny song to her she loved it but yeah i enjoyed this episode man i thought it was funny there's a lot of good um good moments in it now we know old boy didn't actually kill old, old girl that was just a rumor 
I actually forgot in the last episode. I was like, why is he so uncomfortable around him when he was at the desk doing the Photoshop stuff? And then you guys remember that. I'm like, oh, yeah, they, he was accused of killing his girl. Okay, it makes sense. He was funny as a DJ, the, sh the shit he was talking. What'd he say? If you don't have a partner by now, like, what are you still doing here, loser, or some, so something like that? Old boy saying, I'm horny, horny, horny. I like that little goofy day, too. He's giving little pieces of bread. He's, like, tossing the whole uh, slice in there. And when they were paintballing, she showed no mercy. <laughs> and shot his ass up. Max and Patty with the prank call. This is good. I enjoyed the episode, man. Like I said, somebody messaged me and said I probably won't enjoy this one because I didn't enjoy the first one. And don't judge the rest of the series based off this episode. It's just a small dip in quality. But I thought it was decent. I thought it was a good episode. I thought it was funny. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a decent episode. It wasn't bad at all. All right, guys, that is it, man. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.